Do it again. Do it again. Just done it. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Oh, oh my god! Cybertruck 2, scene 1, take 1. Welcome back to Half Scale Cybertruck. This episode, we're going to be welding the whole thing together, installing the axles, and getting it to drive. Now, we just have to weld all of the seams. It's probably like 50 to 100 linear feet of welding. So that's probably like 50 to 100 hours of welding. So I've got a few of my friends who know how to weld, or at least know how to MIG weld, and we're going to teach them how to TIG weld to help speed this up. Once we get all the welding done, we're gonna have to do a whole bunch of grinding, clean up the welds, and then a whole bunch of polishing to make the whole thing super shiny. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna be using an angle grinder to get rid of the welds, and then we're gonna be using something called the Porter Cable Restorer to do all the uh, polishing and kind of like buffing. And we've been testing out the different drum sanders that this tool comes with, and we basically figured out that we want to use um, some of the scotch Bright style ones at first, and then finish up with this nice radial scotch Bright disc. It's uh, the 240 grit version. And as you can see, it makes a pretty, pretty shiny finish. All right. So no Cybertruck is complete without its very own electric ATV in the back. So we got this awesome ATV. We're gonna soup it up a little bit and it'll be our mini ATV to go in the back for a half-scale Cybertruck. Let's see what this thing looks like. But this cat-themed ATV already has a signature Tesla Cybertruck hubcaps. How do I get my foot to the pedal? Here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, it is a perfect fit. Alright, we need we need to uh, chrome plate this thing. So we've been working tireless days on this project, and finally, our tires arrived. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right, so we've got all our speed controllers and motors from Accelerated Systems Inc. And Stan, one of the guys who works there, has generously offered to come help us program these things since it's a bit over our heads at the moment, uh, but we'll be learning how to do it. So let's get these motors spinning. So the important part, I think, that that switch is, is correct. Once the switch is correct, the, 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 the throttle won't stop us from getting this thing spinning. So we got positive to positive, and this is gonna be 48 volts? Yep. All right, so like, Hit it, you should be good. Now we want to communicate with this thing. Let's cross. <laughs> All right, uh, software set up. We need to give it a shot. Connect. There you go. You're in. Connection. Sweet. So I'm going to hit one. <laughs> and when I hit enter, you should hear a little noise. Yep. And this thing should spin at about 100 RPM again. The brakes work a bit, you can hear them, you can smell them. <laughs> <laughs> to learn more about the motors we're using for our Cybertruck, check out Accelerated Systems' website, where you can buy an identical motor kit to ours for your own electric vehicle project. Big thank you to Accelerated Systems for providing these motors to us. How long have you guys worked on this project now, hours-wise? Hours-wise, probably over 100 easily per person. Well, it's been a week. Normally, it's 40 hours of work in a week. 
this is Hacksmith Industries. We, we can see the end, like it's, it's quite realistic and reasonable to actually do it in two weeks, which is pretty cool. And I think that's a testament to this new facility and the team we have here, so. got all the speed controllers plugged in to the same throttle. So hypothetically, when we turn it on, we'll be able to get all these wheels spinning at the same speed. So, then geometer at zero. Ignition. Turning on ignition. Now, just Well, that's not great. Ah, I don't know. Okay. All right, have fun. Don't burn down the place. So we just wired up the two front motor controllers. Unfortunately, we can't do the back one because uh, the lugs are unreachable under that trunk and we gotta take the whole axle out. But we're just gonna test the two front ones, see how what kind of torque we get with the two less powerful hub motors. You guys got them. Whoa. It's this one. Do it again. Do it again. Just done it. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. All right, it works. Oh, there goes our table. <laughs> Not a scratch on the Tesla. No. Look, look at those tire tracks. <laughs> and we're not even at full power yet. No. No. Uh, we're not even at half power yet. No. There you go. It's like nothing ever happened. Brakes are good. Okay. Oh Test number two. Right. This time, spin out those tires with brake. All right, turning on ignition. We are live. Brakes, brakes, brakes! Yes, the brakes work. <laughs> How was that? I took a lot of braking force. Three, yep. two, one. Nice. Let's try putting this chair in. See if that's any better. And let's just try it. So we can lower this down, push it forward, and we're flying back a little more. Like Actually, that. Alex has a gaming chair. Not for long. All right, Alex's gaming chair. No. Yeah, you're gonna have to recline it a bunch to make it fit. Slide forwards more. Oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> I think the top's the problem. Now where do the foot pedals have to be? Back here. That's a little cool. I'd like to like, move back a little bit from the steering wheel. I mean, more like... Oh, 
All right, apparently we need a slightly smaller office chair. I guess, I guess that means Alex gets his chair back. All right, so we're almost done welding together our half-scale Cybertruck. There's just a few more welds. I just have to shift it over, and that'll be it. And it's just a whole bunch of grinding, and who knows how long it's gonna to take to polish this thing to really make it shine. Let's get to it. One more to go. That's it. That's all the welds. I mean, the welds, they aren't the prettiest, but you know what? None of us here are actually professional TIG welders. And you know what they say, a grinder in paint makes me the welder I ain't. Unfortunately, we're not actually painting this because it's stainless steel. We're gonna brush finish it. The Ridge is a minimal front pocket wallet that's a way better way to carry your cash and cards. With over 30,000 five-star reviews and a lifetime warranty, you can't go wrong. Plus, there's dozens of styles available. Use my coupon code HACKSMITH to save 10% and get free worldwide shipping. So for the power source of the Cybertruck, we're going to be using eight of these lithium polymer batteries from Tattoo, which are 22 amp hour and 44.4 volt nominal, and they feature a battery management system to keep track of the life of the cells, as well as show us the battery percentage and feature over voltage and over current protection. These lithium polymer batteries are way smaller than a lead acid while featuring twice as much power. And they're way lighter too. <laughs> all right, let's see if these all fit behind the seat that we don't have. Buy Ooh, that's a good we'll thing. get 10. Six. Like literally on every page and on all their website manuals and on the stickers, just says, do not pull on the wires. They must be really concerned about me pulling on these wires. Well, don't pull on the wires. But like, why are they so concerned? Like these look like sturdy wires. If you want to see how the electrical system of our Cybertruck works, make sure you check out our circuit diagram on maker.io. There are links in the description below. Once we finally finished welding, a stainless steel fabricator on Instagram reached out with an offer to help. Having nearly 15 years of experience in working with stainless steel, Craig was able to give us some tips and tricks of the trade to make sure we didn't spend any more time than we had to on polishing the Cybertruck. Now that we know how to do it, let's get to it. All right, so now that we know how to finish stainless, let's get to it. And the team continued to grind for days and days and days and days and days. And days. So these are hopefully the seats for the Cybertruck. And it comes in pieces. Woo! Sweet. Now we're gonna make custom brackets like this to hold it in a fixed position. Can't return it now. Gotta make it fit. Take your weight off of it. Yeah, Take weight's off. off it. All right, so we finally managed to get the seats mounted in. It was a bit tricky because we had to line up the holes from the bottom of the vehicle. And you can't see the holes when you're just on the seat. So uh, we did it. So comfy. And the nice thing is the actual uh, frame of the seat will help reinforce the bikes. Coming in after you, big
right, so it's been just over three weeks and the Cybertruck is almost done. We just have some high power electronics to do, uh, actually install the steering wheel, do some LEDs and some other accessories, and we'll be good to actually test this. And uh, we need windows. And, and windows, yeah. But just to give you guys a heads up, this thing is going to be a beast. We just did the calculation. It turns out it has over 620 foot-pounds of torque. A F-150 2019 five liter engine only produces 400 foot-pounds of torque. Our half-scale Cybertruck produces 50% more torque than a full-size American-made F-150. I mean, we've even got like a thousand pounds in the back right now. So hit that notification bell. You're not gonna wanna miss this.